Well, hello. It's another another week's gone by. Uh, I'll be uploading this video in a few hours' time. Um, the last video saw me trying to get back uh, before the typhoon caught up with me after that tour in Tsushima. I um, I managed to do that. I actually got back the same day. I did a 15-hour stint just motoring. Uh, most of the way was against the wind, and we had a sort of slight current against us uh, for some of the way, and then we uh, we sped up with the current with us, um, which made me get back. A little bit faster than I was expecting to, which was great. This last week has seen an awful lot of rain. Um, both the typhoons, we've, oh, we've had two typhoons since then. Um, number 21, which was a big one, and then it hammered um, Osaka and up the coast towards Tokyo. Uh, a lot of wind, a lot of rain. Um, where were we? Where we are? There was um, very little of of the wind, but we got a lot of rain. Um, so we had uh, torrential rain for a few days, and then we had a couple of days of sunshine and then it was back onto typhoon number 22 which is uh, which wasn't as strong as the previous one but uh, was probably just as wet. Yesterday I came on board to uh, take the sails down in preparation for this uh, winter's maintenance. Um, I need to do some work on the booms which is the stuff behind me here along with the spars, uh, the gaffs to um, well, it's been 10 years, 12 years since I've had any work done on them, so it's, um, it's time to be uh, taking back the varnish, putting in a coat of epoxy underneath and then painting them up so they look nice and sweet. Um, a couple of the hatches leak on this boat. Again, it's the, it's the age, it's coming up to 13 years old, 12, 13 years old, tiara is. And uh, at about that stage is when things need replacing. Works its way up and over. Um, what I need to do, well, what I can do, I've got two options. I can either put a little piece of wood where my finger is, just put it along here like that, and that will stop the water coming, stop the water tracking up and over. The other thing I should do at the same time is replace my near, my foam there with a new piece of neoprene or something, because uh, it's supposed to create a bit of seal than it does. Um, so we just had a message from Nick to say that um, I probably won't be flying up on the first. I was originally going to be flying up to Hokkaido this Wednesday, which is the 1st of November, uh, to help Nick, another Kiwi guy, with his um, bringing his boat from Hokkaido all the way down to um, Kagoshima, it's the other end of Japan. Um, it's a Bristol Channel Cutter, I think that's what it was, Bristol Channel Cutter? Bristol Cutter Channel? No, Bristol Channel Cutter. It's a 28 foot boat, beautiful boat, but um, there was no buts, it's a beautiful boat and you need your hand to bring it down um, but we're sort of just very weather dependent um, so there's a big load coming up on the first second third 30 40 knot winds forecast this is on the japan seaside which is where his boat is based and from there we've got to um yeah well i don't want to set sail no nobody wants to set sail in that sort of seas so we'll wait until maybe the fourth or fifth and then we'll um make a decision which side we go either the japan seaside or the Pacific Seaside. Both of them have pros and cons, uh, pluses and minuses, and we will uh, make a decision a lot closer to the time. These warm sails, they're um, basically called a warm wing sail. They're a soft, a soft wing sail, I guess. The fabric goes right around the mast and it stops that dead zone, that sort of uh, luffing area right behind the mast, um, which a lot of sails have. It sort of makes the wind flow a nice sort of a nice smooth direction over the sails and they're zipped in they're, um, it's just like a big sock basically and they're zipped up on one side so it's a matter of uh, raising the sails up and then lowering it down as we unzip it and there's a few buckles to do as well it's not a hard job it's uh, just it's not even time consuming we've done this quite a few times uh, especially when we were down in southern japan in amami oshima kakuroma um, where we had to take the sails off every time a typhoon came through we were there for 10 months and we had to do that seven times um, it was yeah you just get you get you get the hang of it pretty quick um, they're all the the sails at the top are buckled and velcroed on um, these need replacing um, I need to replace the leathers on the on the gas and some of the webbing too I think which will be a, an interesting job over the over the winter inside job too so it should be nice and warm you reckon? What, put that tight there? It goes all the way up there. And it goes all the way down there.
Yeah. 